Hello friends, after a few days I am coming up with new video and that is for version 17. I know version 17 is only few days to launch but I am very excited to you know capture a video very quickly for multi branch. After exploring a bit for version 17 pre-launch implementation what I found about branch and I would like to connect with a general need of businesses. So today I am configuring few branches and sub branches. So as you can see this is my main company under that I have configured branch one. Under each branch I have configured zone office like south zone, north zone and same way branch two and then it's branches zone one and zone two. Okay, and all the way I have configured a different location in my state in India, like this Surat and then in Rajkot and then zone 1, zone 2 divided into two zones. So this is what I configured and when I select main company it will uh, cover the umbrella of all the branches and sub branches. The good part about uh, this multi branch configuration is your chart of accounts will remain same throughout the company. You can see in main company in branch one, you know, all the chart of account will remain same. Whether you go to sub branch also, it will remain same. So entire chart of accounts will be reflected in all the main company and sub company. Okay. Now coming back to our product configuration. When I move to product configuration, I have configured one product where cost price will depend on the company wise. Like in South Zone, if I configure this product has been costing 15 rupees, sale price will remain same. But when I move to branch one, again sale price will remain same and cost price is 10. But when I move to main company, the sale price is 100 and cost price may be 5. So for every company, it will be different. But surprisingly, when I go to my master setting inside the accounting and settings, okay, all the account will remain same. But in general setting, uh, what we need to do is we need to enable intercompany transaction. So ultimately, when I move to branch one and I want to make any transaction between branch one and sub branches, I have to enable this general settings and intercompany transaction then it will allow me to do a transaction subsequently so i am surprised like this is not what we expect or i expect as a branch branch means simply a branch let's say if i go to warehouse it will show me all the warehouses belong to branch but if i deselect this it will show me only for branch one but let's say in branch one, if I am enabling the multi-step route and I want to take a, a, you know, resupply from my another branch, sorry, I won't be able to get it because this is not a branch. This is a multi-company environment. So can you see branch one has this BRNC when I move to South Zone one. I cannot access that warehouse because my warehouse is different and that is south stock it is different and I don't have getting any route to you know getting any replenishment from my parent branch so you can see if I enable branch one it will select all the three companies and when I go here again I do not find anything to replenish from my branch so when I make any sales or purchase if I make any sales order from this current south zone and if I say north zone is my customer and I am selling something product P1 maybe 100 unit at 100 rupees as soon as I confirm the order SO0001 it will create a PO in my parent branch so see so very sadly 
this branch is not really a branch but it's creating a multi company environment and hence for my main company also i have to give a tax id and gst so it is yet to see how tax id will differ because tax id is unique per company but here if i consider this to be a branch and its sub branches the gst id will require to be unique so that's the one aspect now let's say if i make any invoices in my accounting let's say i am into node zone branch and i am preparing any invoice okay let's say customer 1 selling product 1 then you need and confirming this invoice okay now i am moving into south zone so i cannot access that customer definitely because it's a multi branch concept and i am preparing a, a separate invoice so i confirm this invoice also now now if i want to see my pnl you can see for this particular south zone if i select north zone it will combine both okay but i cannot separate out what is the branch one performance what is the branch two performance all right so it's confusing but we have to find a way what to do here i couldn't see uh, any in thorough way how can i you know make it different from branch to branch but yes if i go to balance sheet if i enable both the company it will combine everything together if i select my parent branch it will show me for everything all right now if i register an invoice in parent branch also because i have selected all the company it is showing me everything together and i confirm this so it is in south zone not parent branch but if i want to make any transaction in branch 1 now here also i don't get any separation which branch it is from so you can see it is very confusing in terms of how i can separate out from which branch i have done the business from So if I go to PNL again, you can see everything. But now if I go to invoices, I can see everything. But now if I select only for branch one, I have zero invoices. So if I'm making any new cell from that branch one, it will show me. Now, if I go to as a receivable report, it will show me for current branch. If I combine south zone, it will show me for south zone also, and I can see the second customer which has been deal with south zone. Okay, but I don't have anything which is separating out like which is uh, you know belonging to which particular branch. so in reporting part uh, sorry to say like i don't have segregation branch wise over here so yeah now in terms of purchase also 
uh, we can make purchase uh, from you know respective branch wise but ultimately when i wish to see a separate report i don't think so i will get that within this right so this company separation is there over here Voices also. If I enable my company field, it will show me branch one and south zone, but that is limited to this company filter only. If I enable north zone, then I will be able to see everything for south, north, and main branch. But when I want to see it, you know, specifically anything like any specific partner ledger it is not showing me from which branch it belongs to and if I go to you know, general ledger also because my chart of account is unified I cannot separate out and invoice number is also unified because of branch concept so this is working perfectly fine but in terms of reporting, definitely we would require separation where I can see different vertical reports. Okay, so yeah, that is it uh, for now. Uh, I'm exploring more in branch wise. I'm happy, but also uh, not hundred uh, percent satisfied with current development of branch. It is ultimately multi-company, so the concept of internal warehouse transfer. I don't want to internal making you know any sales order or purchase order. I am not getting any option over here. Thank you very much. Good day.